quite a lot of hoolies running and fireworks going from the side. Someone taking notes there, isn't it? maybe that's a journalist who hasn't got a camera. Whether well, it's worth being a journalist with no camera, I just don't know. Rockets going back and forward. <coughs> if I'm not mistaken, there's an amazingly large number of people back there waving flags, really big, going back a hell of a long way. That's really quite scary. See them? So folks. repeating their warning the whole time about asking for dispersing. Okay, here we go. It's uncovered. Water can's uncovered and in it goes. That's the second water can. a red light. You say what you like, or, or yeah. Alan Heath's approach to being on foot rather than a bike, but I can imagine that this the Somebody's saying something through a megaphone, but I don't know what they're saying. Okay, a little bit of photography, I think.
So they really haven't let that lot go anywhere. They haven't let them really. They sort of pull them into the into that movement. Some of the mist has started to lift a little bit. better footage on. The police line is very close now, just about 100 metres away, with the people behind it waving flags. The water cannon's right at the front of the uh, police defence line. Flares being sent up and down. But certainly, where this is going on is a long way away from where they were taking those Anfit, uh, Antifa characters. So, whether there'll ever be any clashes between those two today, well, it won't happen until after all this has gone down and probably then not a mass clash, but odd skirmishes in different places. See the used flares here. 
Also, looks as though there's a lot of, from this point, it would appear from the rocks on the floor that there's been throwing of rocks that are likely to come this far. So that's a uh, good reason for caution. As you can see the rocks are around and the, the flares are around here. So that obviously means that they can throw rocks this far. It's a little bit uh, reason to Especially, let's face it, once, you get, once it gets dark, you don't see the rock coming at you. Also, it also means that there's a lot of loose rocks here that other people can pick up and throw around. So I'm not sure whether this is too close. That point there was perhaps too close. I'm going to go back a little bit from that. There are quite a lot of rocks, actually. Loose rocks here too, for that matter. Didn't notice them at first. Obviously that could be quite injurious to get a, a rock in the head and I've just bought myself a new pair of glasses. They're very expensive because they've got progressive lenses. Whether that's very good for for catching the trajectory of an incoming... Oh, here we go, movement. try to push down that way. Anyway, it's an interesting way of, 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 of going on a walk, but unfortunately it involves a lot of standing around rather than walking. For all of today, I've only got to 10, 10 kilometers. I was supposed to do 16. That's another six, which is not so great. I'm using up my strength to standing around instead of... It's also managed to get now, in between times, to 20 past four. And the march was supposed to have been away from here a good um, hour ago and, and 20 minutes. So that doesn't seem to work very well, does it? I better stop and see and save it if anything more happens. This is getting a bit, actually, a bit uh, samey.